Namaste and welcome to Mindali Yoga. My name is Ryan. Hope you had a great time enjoying the Christmas and New Year festivities with your family and friends and that you're ready to get stuck into another year of yoga practice. So today's yoga practice is a full body yoga flow to welcome the new year into our lives. Before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I will be grateful for your subscription as your support provides me with the motivation to continue recording these videos on a weekly basis. I upload two videos every week, a flow video as well as a yin yoga practice. So let's get started. We'll start in a comfortable seat. So you could be seated like me, a cross-legged seat, or you could be seated kneeling down with your glutes onto your heels. Begin to close your eyes. And drawing the shoulders away from the ears. And I now invite you to bring awareness to the tips of your nostrils. Observing the breath as it goes in and out of the body. And yogis, you don't have to change your breath in any way. Simply observing the breath. Another two breaths here. Now with your exhale, blink your eyes open. And we're going to take our right hand outside of the mat. Palm or fingertips touch the floor or the carpet. And you take your left hand and reach up and over. I'm going to drop the right elbow a little bit and hug it towards our right hip. And then gently breathing into the side body. On the inhale, let's come back to center. Let the palms touch above the head. On the exhale, bring the left fingertips down and the right hand reaches up and over. My right side of the body gets normally a little bit more sore than the left. So I'm really enjoying this stretch right now. Placing the palm on the earth maybe and hugging the left elbow towards the left hip. Noticing this side of the body. One more breath here. And then slowly coming back to center. From here, we're going to come into all fours. Come onto your hands and your knees. The wrists are below the shoulders, knees below the hips. From here, we're going to do some rounds, a few rounds of cat cow. On the inhale, belly drops. On the exhale, round the upper back. Inhale, broaden the collarbones. On the exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, tailbone rises. Exhale, tailbone descends. Another two rounds like this. Simply noticing the movement in the lower back and how the rest of the body is feeling. And then coming back to all fours. From here, we're going to walk our hands one palm length forward. We're going to tuck the toes and raise the hips to the sky. Coming into our first down dog. 
creating an upside down V shape with our body. So what I like to do is just move organically in down dog. Sometimes I just like to pedal my feet or bend both knees at the same time and then return the heels back to the earth at the same time. So just going through your paces. And then coming to stillness. Slowly walk your feet all the way towards your hands. Gently coming towards the top edge of the mat. And meeting me in a forward fold. Let the belly rest on the thighs. On the inhale, halfway lift. Hands on the shins. On the exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Hands can go towards the sky. On the exhale, hands to heart center as we come all the way down. Inhale, half fill it. Exhale, fold forward. Let's now step back to a high plank. So our wrists are going to be below the shoulders. Draw the lower belly in and press the heels towards the back of the hip. Hold here for one more breath, just to wake up the core and build the core strength a little bit. Now on the next inhale, shift your weight forward, shoulders go past the wrist. On the exhale, transition to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. On the exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. On the next inhale, let's take a right leg collectively towards the sky. On the exhale, set the right foot between your hands. So if the foot doesn't come between the hands, just drag the foot with your hand. Then step it forward. Lower the back knee down. Untuck the toes. Hands will go towards the sky. As we come into low lunge, Anjali Asana. So engage your upper ribs over here and then lift and reach towards the sky. It helps in low lunge to gaze at one particular spot for a concentration. One more breath here. Bring the hands to heart center. Take a big inhale, fill up. On the exhale, lean forward and bring the left elbow outside the right knee into a twist. You're welcome to hang here. If you like more, tuck the toes of the back leg and lift the back knee off the mat. Full expression of the revolved twist. On the next inhale, come back to center. On the exhale, hands come to the floor. We're going to lift the left leg up into standing splits. So with standing splits, you will have to imagine that your head is heavy and that your gaze is towards the back of the room. Hips square, toes point to the floor. Gently take the left foot and step it towards the back of the mat at a 45 degree angle. Right knee above the right ankle as we rise up into warrior one. Now pull the right hip back, left hip forward. And lift and reach with your hands as you draw your lower belly in. So we're going to engage the core here in warrior one. One more breath here. And a smooth transition to warrior two. So open the left foot towards the side of the room now. So sometimes we have to take our foot back for warrior two. To feel comfortable in a stance, that's what I've just done. Because warrior one is normally a shorter stance or a shorter distance between our legs. Warrior two is slightly wider. On the next inhale, flip the palm, let's reverse the warrior, painting the ceiling. On the exhale, bring your hands down as all toes face to front. So we're not going to pivot on the ball of the back foot. Step back to high plank. 
and then let's flow from here chaturanga upward facing dog downward facing dog another breath here big breath in big breath out on the inhale left leg to the sky on the exhale step the left foot between your hands drop the back knee down and tuck the toes and then let's take the hands towards the sky into low lunge under the asana i invite you to notice your right hip notice how it feels compared to your left hip let the tailbone descend towards the earth and our gaze is straight ahead bring the hands to heart center on the e hand fill up on the x hand arrive in a twist so take your right elbow outside the left knee and now from here you're welcome to tuck the toes to the back leg and lift the back knee off the mat you want the back knee as straight as possible and the next e hand come back to center please on the x hand splits fingertips down right leg plunge gaze towards the back of the room one more breath here step the right foot towards the back of the mat and turn it at 45 degrees rise up into warrior one virabhadrasan one so the left knee is above the left ankle then we want to square the hips towards the front draw the lower belly in and then lift and reach with your hands towards the sky and again you'll be on this side transitioning to warrior 2 open the right foot towards the side of the room and i'm slightly deepening the width between my legs so the length is really longer this time as a ground down so all four corners of my feet and then from warrior 2 on the eighth hand we're going to flip the palm reverse the warrior on the eighth hand take your hands around as you frame the left foot we come into a lunge step back to high plank and from here taking the flow chaturanga upward facing dog downward facing dog one more breath here on the next inhale right leg to the sky on the exhale step the foot through between your hands Lower the back knee down and tuck the toes. Low lunge, Anjali Asana. This time, taking a close twist. So take your left hand forward, right hand back. Look to the right hand side. And now gently placing the left hand down to the earth. Right hand goes straight up towards the sky. Tuck your toes on the back leg like we did in the revolve twist earlier, and lift the back knee off the mat. Now what we're going to do from here is we're going to transition to a side plank, a vasishthasan. So rolling on to the outer edge of the left foot, and take the right foot gently, place it on top of the left foot. Right hand reaches to the sky. and really lifting the right hip towards the ceiling one more breath here let's come into a high plank and transition back to down dog on the next inhale left leg to the sky on the exhale step the foot through between your hands lower the back knee down 
untuck the toes, take your hands to the sky, low lunge on this side. And like we did on the other side, we will go into a close twist. So right hand forward, left hand back. So imagine the arms have been pulled in opposite directions. And we are resisting that pull. From here, take your right hand down, left hand to the ceiling. And like we did on the other side, option to tuck your toes and lift the back leg off the mat. So this is the option only. It's not compulsory at all. One more breath here. And let's move into side plank. So roll on to the outer edge of the right foot and stack the left foot on top of the right. Reaching the hip, left hip towards the sky. And it might be a little bit wobbly, but that's okay. It's all for building our strength and our stability and balance. Transition to high plank. And this time, let's take one more flow for the practice. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. From here, come back to all fours, cross your ankles, and then slowly go back into a seat, extend the legs long, come towards the front edge of the back. So I'll face you for this, just a couple of seated positions before we complete our practice. So we're going to go into Marichi Asana C. Take your left foot and bend the left knee. Bring the left heel close to the left foot. Right hand wraps around the left knee. Left hand goes back. Sitting tall here with your spine in the twist. Maybe looking towards the back of the room over your left shoulder. Coming back to center and let's swap. Extend the left leg, bend the right knee, bring the right heel towards the right foot. Take your left hand, wrap it around the right knee, right hand goes back. Again, sitting tall with the spine and if you took a deeper twist on the other side, you're welcome to look over your right shoulder, look towards the back of the room and really enjoying the stress, stress, <laughs> enjoying the stretch. What am I saying? So English is my third language. Every now and then I slip up and tend to use the wrong words, especially if I'm trying to think too fast and talk at the same time. My apologies for that. Fantastic. Coming back to center, let's extend the right leg more. On the inhale, hands go towards the sky. On the exhale, begin to fold forward. Now as you fold forward, the hands can go on the shin, the ankles, or you can place your hands in the outer edges of the feet and begin to lower your forehead towards the knees. Now, if you think that the hamstrings are screaming at you right now, please bend your knees a little bit. Yoga provides for everyone and almost everybody. One more breath here. And then slowly straightening the spine. Let's come to lie down on the mat. So lying down on the mat here. Bending our knees and placing the feet on the mat. Take your left ankle and cross it over the right knee. And interlace the hands behind the right knee or either in front of the right knee. And just pulling the right knee towards your chest. Reclined pigeon. Enjoying the stretch in the outer glutes and the lower back. And now return the right foot to the mat. Let's place the left foot onto the earth. And right ankle on top of it. Interlace the hands in front of the left knee or behind the left knee. 
coming into the client kitchen on this side. Simply noticing the stretch. And now slowly return the left foot to the mat as well. Begin to hug both knees into the chest. Just a gentle rock from side to side. And let's progress into Shavasana. Let the feet find the corners of the mat. Hands come to rest by your side. Palms face the ceiling. I will wake you up when it's time. Making gentle movements with your fingers and your toes, feeling the breath pulsing all through the body. From here, rolling over to your favorite side. And with your eyes closed, slowly coming up into a seat. Bring the hands together in Anjali Mudra, palms touch, palms press against the sternum. One soft inhale, one soft exhale. Bring the thumbs to third eye center, to your lips and to your heart. From my heart to yours, Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this practice. Wherever you are in the world today, have a great morning. Amazing afternoon or an awesome evening. I will see you soon on the mat. Namaste.